What's up YouTube? Alright, I'm here to review my all-time favorite movie, and it had a trilogy, The Karate Kid. The first two are my two favorite movies of all time. These movies are phenomenal. Alright, so I'm going to start off. The first one came out in 1984. It starred Ralph Macho as Daniel, and <clears throat> Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi. Okay, so it's it's like a, a story that's used, but it's it's a tremendous story. It's kind of like Rocky, but um, and it had the same director, John Avildsen, but John Avildsen only directed Rocky 1 and Rocky 5. Sylvester Stallone directed Rocky 2, 3, 4, and Rocky Balboa in, the, in, in those series, you know? All right. Now I'm going to talk to you about this. Um, excuse me. So we start off with a young man named Daniel moving to California with his mom. So he goes to, so he goes to California, all the way over from New Jersey, and then he goes, he meets a friend. I forgot what his name was. If it was Kenny or something. <coughs> excuse me. So he gets invited to a beach ball to a to the beach to go play soccer with some people and Daniel obviously was supposed to be really good at soccer and then and then <clears throat> he starts roasting hot dogs later and he he kinda has the hots for a girl called Allie played by Elizabeth Shue and then he goes to the so then later on he meets Allie and they and they start flirting and he teaches her a little something but then she kicks the soccer ball when she hears Johnny arriving who's played by William Zabka a great actor I really admire William Zabka as Johnny in this in this movie am I a big fan of Johnny not at first but I'm gonna tell you that later so what happened is Allie doesn't want to talk to Johnny but Johnny wants to talk to Allie so she would just ignore him and then he, she promised she would talk to him and then she was playing the radio and he kept on stopping the radio and then he broke the radio I think breaking the radio is going a little too far but I get what what he's upset with because he wants to talk to her and and discuss something with her because they have broken up recently you know sorry I had to do something and so Johnny wants to talk to Allie and Allie doesn't want to talk to him so she keeps on ignoring him while playing her radio he pauses the radio she turns it back on he pauses it she turns it back on they said they'll talk again and then he and then he said you promise you'll talk to me and she said yes and then he and then she played it again and then he picked up her radio and threw it down and broke it that's a little that's going a little too far because it's not his and then Daniel came over to see what what the problem was and then he grabbed he grabbed the uh, the radio and then and then and then he was shoved down to the ground by Johnny and then Johnny and Daniel got into a fight and then he kept on hitting Daniel and then Daniel sucker punched him right in the face and then and then he said no mercy and then he beat him up and then all Kenny's friends who Daniel had become friends with asked him where'd you find this guy and they thought he was lame so then later he showed his bruises that he fell off of his bike yeah <laughs> the bruise that Johnny gave him and he said he fell off of his bike and then he, there was also the maintenance guy he met to ask him if he could fix the sink or something and he said immediately after and he said after what after after I'm trying to catch up fly with the chopstick. <laughs> All right, so so after that, um, the <clears throat> so after that, there <clears throat> Johnny was going, Daniel was going to school, and he tried to meet up with his old friends, and they said, "Hey, Karate Kid, let's see, let's see the moves. Let's see if he knows how to get his butt kicked or ass kicked." And he said, "I already know that one." And then he met Allie again, and then she said that her name is Allie with an I, and he said Daniel with an L. And he got kicked out of the soccer tryouts because Johnny was there, but he punched Bobby, one of Johnny's friends, in the face, and then he got kicked out. And then, and then he went to the, to the New York, or, no, 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 excuse me, he was in California, so he went to a 
karate dojo to see if he could take karate classes but it but when he saw Johnny there he didn't want to take it and then and then he was going to a restaurant to eat some food and then he claimed the karate place sucked which you never taught fear fear or you also never taught what do you call it you never taught fear and you never taught mercy and all that and then later Johnny falls off falls off his bike and and falls down a hill and then throws his bike away and, and he was just he hated living where he lived because he was bullied all the time but then he said this <clears throat> it was funny because he was trying karate and Mr. Maggie was like oh karate and he said <clears throat> and he said yeah he said what happened I I fell off my bike and he said, lucky you no know, hurt hand. <laughs> when, when he said, oh, karate, my mom started to laugh. Because um, I've, I've seen all these with her. And to be honest, these movies are amazing. Now, judging to the next time, Johnny, uh, Daniel also bought Allie lunch one day. And then found out that Johnny was her ex-boyfriend. So then, after that, he, um, sorry, my mustache itches like crazy sometimes. And then Daniel went to a different or went and was trying to take karate from the video from the videotape he had. So after that he excuse me, he was um he was trying to avoid Johnny at all costs and then and then he went to the he, he was wearing a shower curtain, but one time, Johnny, or he did tell Allie to get off his case or something, and then later on, it, um, he was at the Halloween dance, dressed up with a shower curtain so he could be the invisible man so no one could see him, and then he sprayed, he, Allie said, help me, help me, my flower needs water, and someone said, don't know what she sees in him, and a girl said she must be in the fungus about Allie. No, because two people didn't like Daniel. Okay, next up, John Johnny's in the bathroom smoking, and then <laughs> Daniel turns on the shower and sprays Johnny, and then Johnny runs out to go to go get to Daniel, and then he's like Larusso, and then and then Allie tripped them on purpose so 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 they want to hurt Daniel, and then Daniel caused a few crashes a few cars to get in crashes and then ran for it they climbed the fence and then during the during the um uh, during the um uh, the uh the commentary on the old karate kid um ralph macho said he had to tell others to run in half speed because he was dying and he was running for it and then he was about to climb the fence but then one guy kneed johnny in the stomach and then johnny punched him in the punched him in the stomach kick kicked him um, kicked him in the face, I believe. I believe what, what was happening was he was kneed. Yeah, then he was kicked. Then he was kicked in the face, kicked in the face, and then kicked in the face again. But then they said the first kick in the face, when he was knocked down, um, <clears throat> they had to stop filming for the rest of the day. Yeah, what happened was, um, <clears throat> John, he got called a little wimp and was kneading the stomach and then they grabbed him or Johnny they stopped him or they Johnny kicked him and they were stopping him from running and then kicked him two more times and then and then and then he started to groan and then they were going to hold him up and start and delivering a flying kick to him and kill him and they would have been caught they probably would have spent the rest of their lives in jail uh, one guy Bobby told told John told Johnny to leave him alone that he's had enough and he said he can't even stand up in Dutch one of the dudes said that that don't mean squat because they've been taught no mercy and and they were gonna deliver a flying kick to him Miyagi had just climbed the fence and then one guy said they told him to get him and then he like punched two of them and then kicked them kicked one other guy and then kicked Dutch in the nuts knee and then hit him in the leg and then deflected Johnny's attacks and karate chopped them and then took Daniel 
into his place for some like tea and use some bad smelling thing to protect him or to to heal him. The thing is, Johnny and all the other think they're so good at karate and Miyagi whoops their ass in like 12 seconds. Alright, so, moving on. So the next day, or he, Daniel finds out that Miyagi knows karate and that his father taught him karate and how to be a fisherman. So in Okinawa, which is off the coast of Japan, he learned he learned how to be a fisherman and learned how to do karate so he went over to over to the karate dojo to teach to tell Kreese that Johnny will that Johnny and Daniel will fight in the tournament I mean yeah, he said there's no thing, such thing as bad teacher N no such thing as bad student only a bad teacher so what he taught Daniel to do was wax on, wax off. That became very famous. Actually, my favorite, my senior quote was supposed to be wax on, wax off, but they put wax on right hand, wax off left hand, Mr. Miyagi. So he did wax on, wax off, sand the floor, paint the fence, paint the house. And the nostalgia critic asked, what kind of teacher makes you paint the fence while teaching karate? So instead of teaching Daniel the moves, he actually had him build up his muscle so he would be stronger too and know the moves. And then he showed him. And then Daniel couldn't move his arms, so Mr. Miyagi did this little thing where he rubbed his hands together and then put put him put it there so he could finally move his arm. And then he finally deflected all of his attacks he was using at him and he was teaching him more and more karate. And then... <clears throat> Daniel wanted to start a romance with Allie, so they went, so they went off and then started hanging out, um, at this photo booth and this other stuff, and the song Young Hearts was played during that. I've, I love that song so much, and I love the movie. <clears throat> so, moving on with that. Excuse me. Moving on with. What I was saying is later Johnny was taunting um, his mom's car, Daniel's mom's car. And then later on, he, he made plans to meet up with Allie again. And then Johnny sees Daniel out in the kitchen and then he kisses Allie. And then Allie said, don't you ever do that to me again. And then they see Daniel with pasta all over his legs and then she punches him in the face and then there was a the crane technique late later Daniel found out that Mr. Miyagi's wife had passed away and he was drunk and they wanted to cut that out of the out of the movie but I'm actually glad it didn't get cut out because even John Appleton said that was the scene that he got nominated for at the Oscars. He should have won an Oscar for that movie because he was tremendously amazing in The Karate Kid. Okay. And he gets nominated for Best Supporting Actor. I think, I think, I think he should have won it because it, this movie was phenomenal. And moving on, I was, I was coming to notice that Daniel was taking more karate lessons about balance to find balance and then stuff. And then later on his birthday, Daniel and Miyagi celebrated his birthday and then he got a car for his birthday and he got his license and then he and he wanted to apologize to Allie and then she said you, you apologize and he said and then he said you know I got my license and she said whoop do you do and he said what's that supposed to mean or something like that <laughs> for some reason <laughs> This scene cracks me up every time I hear it. He said, I got my license. It's just a, and Allie's like, whoop do you do? And he said, what's with you? What, well, you expect me to do cartwheels? And I said, I just expected some courtesy. Is that just people with fancy cars? Right? Right? And someone said, and then they, and then they said, can't you take a hint? That's what one of Allie's friends said. And then she said, is that really what it is? Oh, I know it is. And they said, you're wrong. Oh, I bet I'm wrong. And then they said that he didn't go out with him because of where he lives. And he said, 
We're different. He said, you're for the hills. I'm from Rosita. You're from the hills. That's how we're different. And then someone told him that that she hit Daniel and that that she's never been anything that nice. But then she saw that, that she tried to make Johnny jealous. But she didn't like Johnny at that time. And then... And then he and Allie made up, and then they kissed big time, French kissed, and then someone said that's public display affection. Who gives a shit? I've made out with my fiance before. All right, so moving on. The next day, then then he took her inside the car and let her drive, and then she said, "How fast is it going?" He said, "Let's not find out." So he goes to the karate tournament the next day, and then and then he starts fighting. So he knows a few, so he runs out of the ring twice and they said, they give him a warning the next time it cost him a point and then he started winning and he started beating all Crease's Croesus students. So he made it to the semifinals I think and then Johnny was going to be in the finals because he had won. So then Robbie pulled, Bobby pulled a cheap shot to get disqualified because Crease made it so and then he asked, he asked Miyagi if he had a chance of winning. I think it was going to be a 15 minute time limit to see if he could do it and that's what I think it was a 15 minute time limit and Bobby had been disqualified and then they were going to move on to it and then they got and then they said Miyagi did the rubbing hands and then healed him and then he said Daniel LaRusso is going to fight and he said Daniel LaRusso is going to fight and then and then um, they said, come on, Daniel, you got this guy, you can do it. And then he punched uh, Johnny in the stomach, and someone said that's excess contact or something. Come on, you have to hit someone in the stomach to get a point. And then they put this on the crimes of Daniel LaRusso, which video is completely, in, which video is completely stupid. And then what happened is um, he, he also hits him in the back, and then, and then he gets a second point, and then, and then he goes to the sensei, and then he says sweep, sweep the leg. So he kicks Daniel in the face and gets a point. Kicks to the side, gets another point, and then, and then, and then Johnny got, and then Johnny punched him in the face and, and didn't gain a point, and then, and then he, and then Daniel tried to kick him, and then Johnny used his elbow to take out his leg, and then or his knee, and he got a warning. So Daniel did the crane technique, and then he jumped and kicked him in the face and knocked him down, won the point, and and they went where? And then Ali started whooping, and then and then Johnny took the trophy and went, "You're all right, Larusso," and handed him the trophy. And he started whooping, and he was like, "Mr. Miyagi, we did it, we did it, all right." And Miyagi starts nodding his head and, with a smile. Excuse me. So, in the second one, they show they show the first movie. They show some synopsis, which is like a short summary. But they show some events that took place in the first one. Yes. Oh, and like I said, so it starts off right where the first one ended, and Miyagi or uh, Daniel was taking a shower in the shower room, and then. And then they went outside, and then Johnny was telling Chris he did his best. And then he said, you're nothing, you're lost, you're a loser. And he said, no, you're the loser, right? And he said, oh, I'm the loser, huh? And he said, yeah. And he said, now who's the loser? And he said, you know, you're really sick, man, because he destroyed his second place trophy. And then and then he started putting Johnny in a chokehold. And then Miyagi walked over and said, oi, let him go. And they said, yeah, Mr. Miyagi's right, let him go. And he said, I said, let him go. And he said, be a slip or you're next. And Miyagi throws him off of him. And then he just stands there. Crease has his fist raised. And Miyagi just stands there like this, fighting with no motion. And Crease tries to punch Miyagi. And he just makes his knuckles bleed and starts and left a hole in the window. Then he tries to punch him again. And he just gets his knuckles bleeding. And Miyagi's like, mercy is for the weak. We do not train to be merciful here. A man face you, he is enemy. Enemy deserves no mercy. It could lop off his head, but the one like that went hong instead. And then, and then he said, the Miyagi, Daniel asked Miyagi the stupidest question. He says, 
you could have killed him, couldn't you? I why didn't you then? Why didn't he kill and I always say, why didn't he kill him? Uh, maybe because he didn't want to go to jail? Now my now and Miss Maggie's response was one that I look up to because it's a beautiful quote. Because, Danielson, for a person with no forgiveness in heart, living even worse punishment than death. Then it was about six months later. At one point, um, Daniel did catch the fly with chopsticks because Miyagi said, men who catch fly with chopsticks can accomplish anything. Daniel did it in the first movie. Miyagi did it in the second movie. Then um, Daniel said, what well, didn't happen? First, Allie the, used my car. Then she redecorates the fender or something like that. So It was something like that. Something around that quote. Let me see. <clears throat> um, he said something like that. Um, I think he said it must have been some senior problem. He said, he said she redesigns his fender, and then and then <clears throat> and then he had to go to Fresno, but then. He was building a room for himself so he didn't have to go to Fresno. Excuse me. Excuse me. But then he used his own college money to go to Okinawa with with uh, with Miyagi because his because Miyagi's father was sick. So they go to Okinawa where Miyagi's from to go visit his dying father and. He wants to settle an old grudge with Sato, and Sato called him a coward, and Sato has his own karate master, Chosen. So Chosen and Daniel, um, had their own little feud, and he met another girl named Kamiko, I think. Kamuko? Kamuko? Yeah, he met her, and then they became friends, and he started flirting with her, you know? So, this one's kind of, this one's a lot darker than the second one, but it was really really good it was a great sequel I I give it a 4 out of 5 or maybe maybe an, a 9 out of 10 and I give the the first one a solid 10 out of 10 this one is very close very close so like per se you give a, a score a good percentage I give the first one 100% and this one maybe a 99 to a 98 it was amazing <clears throat> All right, now, now, um, in this one, I, I really liked the, um, the focus that, because it wasn't as good as the first one, but it wasn't bad because it had its schmaltzy moments, but it continued the story. It wasn't like a repeat of the first one, and it was dark. Daniel learns how to break ice with his hand. He just walked straight through it, and then later on, he was... He kept on getting beaten up by Chosen. I might have to hurry this one up because I've seen the first one a lot more times than I've seen the second one. Because, you know, um... But the second one had had a really good story to it to follow because it was more focused around Miyagi. He met his old love interest, visited his old father, but then he and Sato were gonna fight. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. He didn't want to fight Sato, and he kept on calling him a coward. And then Chosen later came to fight. Chosen came to fight Daniel. Um, and he kept, and they were winning. And then Miyagi only got hit once by a spear in the back, and then he, and then he took down Chosen and his and his karate masters, you know and his karate buddies and Chosen was like taking down everyone by himself he was like a trained killer this guy was a professional now if I'm gonna add add to this part um it was it was a lot darker than you would expect if you had seen this but yeah so so um in this case 
it was more continuing the story and there was more focus around Miyagi's backstory, which I actually did admire that they did with the second one because usually if you do a comedy movie sequel, it repeats the first one and that's what I always hated doing. But, moving on. So, Daniel wants to learn more karate and 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 he realizes that Chosen's pretty good and then <clears throat> he and Chosen would run into each other frequently and then me, and then he had he had <laughs> when they said he was going to break ice he said he has to break all six and then Miyagi's like $600 say he break all six and they said 600 bucks and 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 Chosen was shocked and said I cannot cover that and he said you are covered and he said now we have bet they said and and then he wins all the money, but then Chosen takes it away from him. And then Johnny hits, and then, not Johnny, Daniel hits him. <clears throat> and Kamiko stomps on one of the guy's foots and, foot, and then they took it away. Took the money back and then drove out and then made it away. And then later, there was a storm later, <clears throat> and Sato was... Sato was doing something with Miyagi's land earlier and he said I'll fight you but then Miyagi karate chopped a tree uh, a piece of wood that had fallen on Daniel or fallen on Sato and then he took it away and saved Sato's life and then Sato asked him for forgiveness because Miyagi had just risked his own life to save him and then Daniel saved a little girl who was stuck up in a um stuck up in a pole and then later they were dancing and then later Kamiko was dancing and then Chosen made it away and was choking her and then she and then he punched um Kamiko and then he and Daniel fought and like it would seem that Chosen was better but instead of crane kicking him because that didn't work this time jo Daniel punched him 12 times it was just like punch 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 and he punched him like 12 times in the face now to be honest that was the best Daniel fight I'd ever seen that was the best Daniel fight ever now basically that's what happened um I I couldn't review this one as much as I could review the first one but I'm, I'm gonna say that this was a great sequel sorry <laughs> and um and um let's just Alright, so next up, the third one came out, the first one came out in 1984, and I think the second one, yeah, the second one came out in 1986, and the last one came out in 1989. They were filming in 1988, so in this one, this one is like a repeat of the first one. It's like you give the first one a 100%, you give the second one a 80, a 98, or a 90, 99, and you give the third one maybe a 60 because it was a good scene to it but you know this one was more or less like the first one John Kreese is back and you have a new over the top villain you have in this one you have John Kreese again you have Terry Silver and then you have played by Thomas Ian Griffith then you have Sean Cannon, who plays Mike Barnes, and then you have two other karate cronies. Like Johnny had had four friends with him, so there were five karate masters, five karate students, and the first one who fought Daniel. I mean, of the main ones, and then the second one you had three, and in this one you have three again. So <clears throat> it starts off with Terry. S Terry Silver, or no, John Kreese, and then Terry Silver. He goes to his friend, and he talks to Terry Silver, and Terry Silver wants to beat up Daniel, or excuse me, get revenge on Daniel Miyagi. So, so he goes and gets. He gets who? Oh yeah, he gets Johnny, back. No, 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 no. no. Excuse me. He's going to recruit someone. Terry Silver's rich in this movie. Um, sorry, I, I'm getting a little confused. So he goes and gets Mike Barnes. So he saw Karate Kid's Karate's bad boy, Mike Barnes. So he was gonna 
So we recruited Mike Barnes for this one, and Mike Barnes is a <clears throat> cry bully who's gonna be kind of like chosen and kind of like da Daniel or no, not Daniel. What's his name? Chosen. It's kind of like Johnny and kind of like Chosen. So he knows karate also, but what what he doesn't know is balance. He doesn't know honor. No one else in this movie knows honor. Thomas Ian Griffith. Um, yeah, Terry Silver. Terry Silver was really good in this movie. He was the best villain of them all. John Kreese, I give him I I don't think that he was um needed in this movie because did you really have to bring back Kreese? What was the point of this one? Now um First, they want LaRusso to sign up for the... They want Daniel to sign his name for the karate tournament. And he said, he's not going to do it. So then, so then he said, sign it. And then Daniel's like, you sign it. And he said, and he was about to fight Daniel. I said, you sleep on it, all right? Yeah, you sleep on it. You, you can dream about me. And then they call him a slime ball. I said, slime ball? That's cute. Did your mother teach you that? <clears throat> all right, I have a problem with... with Mike Barnes in this one. He's just aggravating. He aggravated me. I mean, if I had been in Daniel's shoes, I would have just shot Mike Barnes. Not literally. I'm just saying. Mike Barnes was a total and total dipshit in this movie. Pardon my language. I really don't like to cuss that much anymore, but he was just a jackass in this movie. And then... And then he... he and then he... And then... He went to the bonsai store. They opened. And the $600 he was supposed to use were going to go to college. Um, that he won for breaking the ice in the second one. But he used it to buy a bonsai store for Mr. Miyagi. Alright, next up. Excuse me. Next up, in my opinion, this was a good this was a good turning point for Johnny. Or for Daniel, I mean. Sorry, I get those two confused. Because Johnny was my favorite bad guy that Daniel fought because he was a good he was a good character. Now, moving on with with the with Mike Barnes and Sean Kane and this Mike Barnes, they come back into the karate into the tree shop and he said hey come on guys this isn't funny more and told him to turn on the light and then he started fighting Dennis and he took down Dennis and then and then and then one guy um Snake who was the son of the director I think got hit in the stomach by by a pot and then and then the girl was um <clears throat> it was another love interest of Daniel but she was going to move out and go marry and go back out with her ex-boyfriend and um the karate kid part 3 at this part Daniel probably should have been invent invincible because he had fought fought um he had fought um what's his name he had fought Chosen in the second one. And then he starts getting beaten up by Mike Barnes because he went, Nice kick, not bad. Better, good, but not good enough. And he starts kicking him and knocked him down. He said, Why are you being so stubborn? Daniel punched him twice and then he just gets thrown into a window. That's what really aggravates me. So all Mike Barnes does is just hurt people. You know? You know, and then and and then he tore up the slip, I think, and he said, I'm gonna kick your ass and then Miyagi comes. Deflects all Johnny's, all, all Miyagi's, all um, Mike's attacks towards him and kicks him, and then and then they all run off and he said, "You can't, you can't protect him for all Buddha head." And he was in love with Jessica, uh, Jess, Jessica in this movie. I think he called her Jesse, but it was Jessica. And then. They went back to Miyagi's house and Miyagi was singing in the car and, and he said they went fishing and he said because they stole all the trees. He said they stole them. They stole them. Don't they get I'm not going to sign this thing. He said Ugh. Miyagi was going to Miyagi says 
can barely be bothered on full stomach than an empty one. Excuse me. And then my mom and then my mom was watching this with me. She never understood why, but why they did that. But then Danny went, "You go fish. I'm gonna do something about. It. I'm gonna go to the police and report so they can arrest these jerks or something like that." And he still had still drives the same car Miyagi gave him in the first one, which is a gorgeous car. It's beautiful. <clears throat> now I have to talk to you about. The final part of this movie was a good, was a good one. The final, well, well, there was one good thing about this, but the thing that I don't agree with is, so Terry Silver wants to get, sticks Mike Barnes on Daniel, but then stages a fight with Barnes to make him look like he's defending Daniel because he said, let him up, punk, and then, and then he beat up. They beat, they beat him up so he could show him what it was like. Or, or show him that he's protecting Daniel. And is he? No. But he's a good villain. So, after that, he starts taking Daniel under his wing and he starts being part of Cobra Kai. Which, I'm kind, which kind of pisses me off because Daniel knows what Cobra Kai is about in this, in, in this movie. You know? So, what happens at this part in the movie is he's showing him how to hurt so he's getting taught the wrong way of karate about punch and stuff and Terry uh, John Kreese told him to make his knuckles bleed so after that um, he goes to a dance with Jessica and then punches a guy in the face and breaks his nose and then he finally realized that's not him and then Jessica got mad at him for what he did Excuse me. And then what what Daniel did was he punched the guy in the nose, broke his nose. But then Mike Barnes, I think Terry Crease was gonna pay him to see how Daniel would handle it. And then Daniel said that that wasn't him, so he's gonna go. So he talked to. Excuse me. So he went and apologized to apologized to Jessica, and then he said that. Miyagi's written him off like giving up on him, but she said that Miyagi loves him that Miyagi loves Daniel so after that He goes to talk to Terry Silver and then he finally found out that Terry Silver was paying Mike Barnes because he said That he that he said from the moment you met me. I've been making you do stuff You didn't want to do and he said what are you talking about? And he said what am I talking about? Yeah, what and he said let's show him what I'm talking about Mike Barnes comes out and says I'm always talking about shithead, and then they said, and and then John Kreese died, jumps out because earlier in the movie Tom Kreese said that Johnny John Kreese had or um, Terry Silver said John Kreese had died. Not true. <laughs> and then after that, they get into a. Daniel tries to defend himself and fight fight him and then he keeps on getting punched in the stomach and then gets punched in the face and they say you want to see more I want to see a lot more and he said bring him back you see his face see the trail think he peed in his pants and then they were laughing at them you hear me I yell and he picked up Mike Barnes and threw him through a door the th the thing that's funny about this is all Miyagi has to do to take down Mike Barnes is block all his attacks kick him and then pick him up, throw him through a door, and then just push him down to the ground, and then they get back into a fight again, and he, he fights, it was funny because they were all laughing, they were like, because <laughs> they were laughing so hard, Miyagi picks up Mike Barnes, throws him through a door, and then they're not laughing anymore, because he comes in, he takes down, <laughs> he takes down Mike Barnes by just pushing him down. Then he fights, then he fights John Kreese, and this fight was so much better than the first one because this was Miyagi's best fight ever. He blocked all Kreese's attacks and knocked him down. Then Terry Silver was like, "Wah, wah, 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 wah," or something like that, like four or five times. And then I think he did. I think he was like, "Wah, 
Wah! 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 Come on, little man. Let's see how good you really are. He doesn't even hit Miyagi once. Miyagi pushes him into a window that breaks and stuff falls all over him. And Mr. Miyagi's like, Wah! Rah! Wah! And then they said that you won't even be a memory. And, and then he said, Yes, he will. You won't. And then they start laughing. And then he said, now will you train me? Because he said, Miyagi always train you, but for tournament, cannot. And he said, why not? And then <clears throat> they go to the beach, and he's teaching them Tai Chi, a.k.a. Kata. And Mike Barnes is only being taught to break things. <sighs> I didn't like Mike Barnes, but I like the way Sean Kanan portrayed him, because he's a great actor. But, uh, here's another thing. Excuse me. So, uh, they go to the, they go replant the bonsai tree. What's his name? Mike Barnes had snapped it. That pissed me off. And then they, then they retaped it. And the, they re, redid it. And then it grew back. And it also grew regrew the strong root and he said has strong root like you Daniel son okay I'm in this uh karate tournament Daniel only had to fight one person and that the new rule states that the the all-time championship from the year before only has to fight in the last fight okay I mainly have a problem with this part this is the part that really aggravates me is that all Daniel does is cower because Mike Barnes punched him, and one guy's like, come on, Daniel, and he's like, come on, Daniel, and he's like, you're dirty, Barnes, he's going to get you because you're dirty, and he said, and he kept on cussing out, <laughs> and he kept, he kept on cussing out Mike Barnes, and it just made me laugh so hard, so what happened was, Mike Barnes um, punched Daniel, got a point, kicked him in the groin and got a point taken away. That's when you can hear the fans sometimes saying, you're dirty, Barnes, he's going to get you because you're dirty. But you have to have, have a high-definition TV to hear that. And then he, and then after that, he punched, he punched him one more time. And that guy's like, come on, Daniel. And then later, he got broken up. Daniel was ducking all of his attacks, got punched. And then Mike Barnes punched him in the face again because Terry Silver told him to to um, hit him, win a point, lose a point, so it would go to sudden death. Okay, so what happened later was Johnny and Daniel fought in, or, no, no, no. Johnny and Daniel fought like this, but in, in the other fight, it was a lot different. In this one, it was a lot different. It didn't have a time limit I don't think I had to go for three minutes and then you would get a one minute break and the fights were so much different but I mainly have a problem with this one is that Daniel wasn't they should have written the script better and made Daniel like easily take down Mike Barnes they said Mike Barnes was the hardest villain because he easily topped Daniel but some people said Chosen was a trained killer compared to Mike Barnes. I heard the director himself said Chosen would whoop Mike Barnes' ass. But probably because... Um, what's his name? Uh, Mike Barnes only fought for points. So did Johnny. But Chosen fought between life and death. So, next up in the, in the next thing... They got into, so they went into the sudden death because Johnny was running the timeout and he was kicking him in the side. He's like, what's the matter, sweetheart? You getting trouble breathing? You having trouble breathing? And basically when they said Mike Barnes, some people were booing and they were like, Daniel, 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 Daniel. And then some people were rooting for, for him. The people wearing the Cobra Kai t-shirts. Sorry, my screen went black for a second. I had to make sure my screen doesn't go too black. And then, at the end of this, um, they go into sudden death. Miyagi runs up to him. And 
what he tells him is that it's okay to do opponent must not lose to Fury. He said, oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. What do you want me to do? And Miyagi goes, hey! And he says, you stay focused. Daniel, son, your best karate is still in sight. Now time let out. And he said, that's the end of the rest period. Then, then Mike bombards him with insults. Like, he says, he says stuff that pisses me off at this part. And then he's taunting him. <clears throat> um, and I find it kind of funny because, because, and then when they fought him, they said, they call him, look over the slope. Is that perfect that, that they were making fun of Mike Barnes? Or they were making fun of Miyagi. They said this slope guy Miyagi and that punk kid that he was gonna make him pay and they said look over at the slope is that perfect and then they call him a slope teacher he said he said fires do you realize I said come on get up get up on that line LaRusso you're worth this you slope teachers nothing get up man you're no champion get up you suck you LaRusso you suck man and your teacher's trying shit you hear me he's shit and they're all taunting Daniel and Terry's Terry's taunting him and so are the other guys and and John Kreese is doing this to tell him to get up and then he said you're telling LaRusso and your karate is a joke and your teacher is worse shit he's nothing and you're nothing I own you LaRusso I own you where's your little Jeff teacher now he's a phony man he's a fake and he didn't teach you nothing you your karate is shit you hear me get up yeah and the thing was you should have seen the rage that Daniel had in his eyes. Oh, 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 he was pissed. So what he did was he did the kata thing and then Mike was going to hit him. And then Daniel scooped him and then punched him in the ribs and won the point. And then they went, winner! And they went, the winner! And the first pe person, and and they said, They said, Mike, take him out. Hit him. Get the point. Get the point. And they said, hit Mike. He's, al he's hallucinating. And they said, the winner. And the first person I ever won two years in a row, the grand champion, Daniel LaRusso. And Mike Barnes starts hitting the mat because he lo lost. <laughs> and the funny thing was, some people had given their Cobra Kai t-shirts back to, back to, uh, Crease and, 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 um, Silver. And then John Kreese threw some back at him because back at the fans because he was pissed they had lost. And now um there was another movie called the the next Karate Kid which I don't have in this package. I used to have it because I bought the whole set. But then here's the thing um with the other one you would have just had to turn the copy around and there would have been no, another Karate Kid movie. The only thing is Miyagi was in it. But Hilary Swank was in it, and you couldn't call it Karate Kid 4, because you can't have a sequel without Daniel Ralph Macchio. Miyagi was the best part of these movies, but the but the thing that he and Daniel had was perfect throughout the... They had great chemistry. And later on, um, at the funeral of, Miss, of Pat Morita, Ralph Macchio went to it and said, Forever my sensei towards the mourners, which made sense, because they were in karate. The Karate Kid, so he said, forever my sensei. And then, later on, they, um, they, uh, I was at least happy that Daniel was at least mentioned. He was mentioned three times. He said, Miyagi, apologize. You see, before, live with friend Danielson. Danielson, go Miyagi room. Miyagi, you go Danielson room. No big thing. Boy, it's easier. So, I'm going to talk to you. One time, I was on YouTube, and I found out they were making a TV show off of the Karate Kid, and I was like, Whoa, because I thought it was going to be awesome. So I only got to see two episodes because at that time I didn't have a job. But then I got a job and a year later I saw the trailer. And then I decided, I saw the trailer of season two. So I decided to binge watch season one. It was amazing and season two was amazing. So I had to pay for YouTube Red. I don't pay for Netflix because here we have three accounts that my mom watches Netflix. I watch Netflix. My brother watches Netflix. 
I had seen uh, The Karate Kid on Netflix. That's how I got interested in it. I saw them all back in 2010. And then I bought the series once and then I rebought it. Yeah. I love the movie. I also have the Karate Kid poster up there next to my Jesus poster. Now, I just want to tell you, check out The Karate Kid. It's like one of the greatest movies ever. It's my favorite movie. Check out Cobra Kai. It's worth it. I thank you all for watching. I, I hope you're all having a, a great day. Watch this because it's amazing. I know it took me a while to review this. Alright, thank you for watching. Stay up to date and subscribe. Peace out.